Okay, so hi and welcome to the second part on how to use AR in Gazebo, how to spawn it and how to detect it in this case. So in this micro tutorial, I, I'm going to try to explain how to, how to set up uh, the launch file to use the AR tracking uh, package in ROMS so that you can track AR tags. So if you haven't seen the previous video about how to, sp how to generate your own AR tags and make it and configure your system so that you can spawn it in Gazebo, please um, follow the, see that video before, it's in the description below. Uh, if you have seen it, then let's continue. So the first thing we need is just the presentation of the simulation. So I'm using ROS Development Studio to launch a simulation, a default simulation. In this case, I'm using the, the, the Mira simulation, which is this tiny egg-shaped robot, which he has a tiny little camera just in the center, and that's it, and moves the head around, but we won't move it in this, in this tutorial. Basically, it's um, a moving camera, basically, for us. So, the first thing we we need is I've set up already my IDE, so in my simulation workspace, I've downloaded the, the Miro repository and has all the systems and I've modified it so that it has, it executes this light world. So why do I do this? Well, because I want some light in the default world. It doesn't have any external light. And as you can see here, I have this light that I can move, I can move around and, oops, sorry, let's move it a bit more. So I can move it around. This way the vision works a bit better. Otherwise, maybe the a AR isn't tracked as well as it should. But well, basically that. So I've just changed that. And what I want to do is spawn this AR tag. So for that, I go to my um, Kakin workspace where I have all the uh, all my programs for this. So I go here and I have this AR track green bot. I've just called it like that. So here is I have all the things for the AR tracking. And then I have the green bot description, which basically is a spawn AR track. Okay. And here we have the meshes and the, the PNG image for the AR track. Um, in this case is this one. Okay. So let's spawn it. So we go here and we go to the Catkin workspace and source levels setup bash and then I do a ROS launch um, green spawn AR tracking there we go so now we have it here so I'm going to move it move it a bit closer and then to test if it's correct, if it's in the right place, we can go to this uh, open simulation cameras and I select the camera. And here I can see more or less the air tag, how Mira sees it. So I can center it a bit more and maybe put it in the best place so that it can track it better. Okay. So I think it's okay like that. Very good. So now let's see if the light we can put it there. Check. Yeah, a bit better maybe. Okay. So now we have our simulation with the AR tag here. So the next step, the the, the important part. So we have to create our own launch file that sets up all the, the variables so that it can track. So if you go to the official 
documentation, you have um, more extensive description, not that much extensive, but more details that I will explain. But basically, we have to do the following. So if we go to the one I've done already, I've done some for each robot. So I'm going to go to Mira. And you have to set the following, this. These are the only parameters that you need to set. The marker size, in this case, in the previous video, we generated a marker that its size was nine centimeters. So we set it like this, nine centimeters. And then uh, a max new marker error, I've, I've done it like 20%. If you're 20% sure that it's that AR tag, so the error is around 20%. So if you put it higher, then you detect it more, but you get more errors. You get more false positives, let's say. Uh, sorry, this one. Uh, yeah, like that. So I put it exactly the same. So here we have the cam image topic, which is, this is the most important really. If you put it more or less like 0 0.2 here and here also the size is important, but basically these are the most important parameters. Here you're setting wh where does this, this AR track get the image data. In my case, the topic is called Mira, Mira, Camera 1, Image Raw, okay? It has this because it's inside a namespace and so on. And the, then the camera info, the same thing, and then the output frame. In this case, I put it uh, ref, referred to camera link, which is quite logical. So, And then we have this node, which is launching and setting all the variables and launching the air track with no Kinect. This is a special case where you use only an RGB camera, which is the most basic one. And then you, you see this TF and I'm doing a static transform. Why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this because um, this binary here, this program, what it does is look for camera link, this link, and it doesn't want anything else. So if you have something that it's not called camera link, which is quite normal, you have to do a static, a static transform from your original one, which is in my case, Mira camera link, to this, the one that this one requires, which is camera link. And you have to make some transforms. So maybe the orientation that this one generates is not exactly the same as yours. So you have the best way to do it is just do a static transform with everything in zero. And then when you do the detections, you'll see if the detections are rendered in the correct place. If not, then you have to change it and adapt it to the way, in a way that it represents correctly. We'll see it in a minute. So, what we're going to do here is, let's do a ROS launch. I think I have it around here. Let me, ROS launch, AR track, uh, green, okay. And then meter, no connect and let's launch. Okay, you see these are the variables that you stated, so the size and the error accepted, okay? That's right, so one first thing that we can do is we can do ROS topic echo of AR post marker, which is a topic that is published when you detect something, okay? And there you have it. It's published every time, but in this case, if it gets the values of the positions, and you can see that it's, it's really stable, so it's not detecting nothing sometimes. Okay, that's good. The idea, as you can see, it's just 107. There's nothing that it's corresponding to the, the value. 
as far as this tutorial goes, okay? So that's it. We have position and orientation. So now another topic that it's published is the marker. And we are going to see in a minute. So let's do our viz. Let me clear this. And I'm going to go here, open the graphical tools. Let's log in. There we go. And now I'm going to already open one that I have already set up for this. And there we go. So let's have a look what's inside here. But as you can see, we have the following stuff. We have TFs. I've just set it the basic ones, so the cameras. This we're going to talk about a bit about this. So let's have a look first about this. Okay, so we have two. We have this one, which is the camera link, which is the one I have, and then we have the the camera link. So the one that the AR tracking system looks for. So, as you can see, they are not the same orientation. That's why in here we are doing this transformation so that it gets represented in the correct way. Because if we go here, we see that now we have this marker. And here it takes us to this element marker, which is reading the visualization marker topic, which is published by the AR. And if we do this, let's have a look. Let's put this like that. Okay. Ripper. I put like that. Perfect. So now I'm going to move the AR tag. There we go. So depending on how have to put it correct way there we go so it has like an error of course we can put it a bit further there we go it's moving further and I can move it that way there we go okay we can also if we let's put it a bit closer Okay, so as you can see here, there it's giving like a false positive there. But the marker, it's correct, so no problem there. As you can see, it just gave like a false positive there, and then it, it just disappeared. And also, if we, we turn the tag around, so if we change the orientation like that, for example, you see, it changed the orientation. You know? Of course, there are limits for this, but as you can see, it's quite robust once it, it's detected. And yeah, that's quite it. So basically, you have to know which cameras, topics you're using. And also, it's very important, the, the static transform that we did because that's the, one of the main problems that it, you could have, is this, and also this error. So bear in mind that if you put a number really, really tiny, it's difficult that it considers it a, a positive detection. So that's it. So thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in more videos about AR tracking and so on, please leave a comment below and please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching. Bye.